Om Namah Shivaya. So, um, I think what we will do is, uh, we will probably curtail the uh, satsang today to uh, maybe half hour, maybe a little bit more than that, depends on the questions. And then uh, give more time to Sahadev today uh, for the music uh, for that. Uh, he, he was about half hour yesterday and we can give him 40 minutes or 45 minutes or something like that. And this keep it at a regular time. And then, um, um, then tomorrow also I think we'll continue with our own satsang. And then Thursday and Friday Swami Viditatmananda Ji will, will join us. And then he will be the main person at answering questions to you. So it'll be so wonderful. So I saw many of you were trying to understand uh, the the shape of and the contents of uh, Dakshinamurti. So let me just give you a general introduction, and then we can uh, we can locate some of that uh, because he has four hands. I should tell you that the original uh, establishment of this Dakshinamurti. Um, Vigraha was done in May 28th, 1990. So it's 32 years old in, in this place. And it took uh, several years of, uh, of really establishing this. So Swamiji, uh, of course, is very... Uh, particular about the exact form and nature of uh, the Vigraha. And so he worked with some of the uh, artists in India that he trusted. And uh, because once you start um, carving it out and so on, you cannot make really a lot of changes. So you need to have a certain trust in the fact. The most important part of the Vigraha is the face of Dakshinamurti. And uh, it has to have the right expression. And this is a very difficult thing to, uh, to be able to, to do, you know, because the artists have to be in tune with the teacher and the way the teacher wants to convey the, the, the vigraha is a very important one. If you make it too, too serious, that is not right. And if you, if you just make it uh, too laughing kind of like, that's not right either. So, um, Adi Shankara, in his uh, commentary, often talks about the the nature of the teaching, which is called Prasanna Gambhiryam. So Prasanna Gambhiryam means Gambhira. Gambhira means serious. Gambhira means deep, serious. Gambhiryam means the quality of being deep and serious. But you know, seriousness can also be unpleasant. I'm serious about this. Okay, let's not do that. The seriousness can also be unpleasing. So this is not Gambhiriam by itself, but Prasanna Gambhiriam. So prasanna Gambhiriam means that you have to be very pleasant and yet be very committed. And this is also conveyed by uh, Sri Krishna's uh, message to Arjuna when he starts with the uh, with the teaching of the Gita, he has a prasanna gambhiriam expression. He says that you are just being silly. This is something very beautiful that you have to do. And so uh, stop wailing. But he has, while he was doing it, while he was saying ashochyan sanvachochastvam, he was not beating up on him. He had this so this is Jnana Mudra, so all of that is given in here. I'll, I'll describe a little bit to that, but I'm not sure that I can exactly pin down a point or all of them. So the face of the Vigraha was very important. 
and Swamiji was very happy. Very happy when it came, came out. That is exactly the right expression because that is the reality of what Ishwara is, Prasanna Gambhiriyam. This is something that we need a commitment for. This is not casual, this is not flighty, but at the same time it's very pleasant. It's not something, you know, you have to do your homework and it's so hard and so on and so forth. This is why I think, you know, it's interesting you have all these classes and so on. There's a lot of work involved, but it's very pleasant work. And uh, so this is the this is the face of the Dakshinamurti, which is conveyed in, in this Murti. Then Dakshinamurti has basically eight things that it must have. And so this one is called, it is called Medha Dakshinamurti. And so we were just discussing that at dinner just today, there was a question on what do you mean by Medha? Medha Dakshinamurti. So Medha Dakshinamurti is, and I think that I am not an expert in this, there may be even be some small changes in, in, the, in, in, in some of the contents of the Dakshinamurti. But the Medha Dakshinamurti is the one where the, and this is also chanted in the very end, you'll say Medha Dakshinamurti. Medha means memory. And here memory stands for thinking, retaining, analysis, uh, continuity of thought. It's not just pure memory, but all the other things that are associated with it. And this is what is necessary in our inquiry. Uh, so we need to sort of, so this is exactly right, that you, you see something, you read a chapter, and the same thing is true in Bhagavad Gita. You, there is a continuity of thought in entire Bhagavad Gita. So when you start a new chapter, you must know why is this chapter after the last one. And so you have to retain some of the messages that were given in the last chapter and retain it as you expand it into this chapter. Same thing in the next one. All of this is represented by Medha. So this is Medha Sakshin Dakshinamurti. Okay, so but all Dakshinamurtis basically have eight things that uh, represent the, the totality of Dakshinamurti. So eight are the five Pancha Mahabhutas, Akasha, Vayuhu, Agnihi, Apaha, and Prithvi. Those are represented here. These are five. Akashaha is represented by the Damru because the quality of Akasha is sound. You cannot have sound without space. And so Akasha is represented by Damru. Then the next thing is Vayu. Vayu is represented by his matted hair because if you don't have some control over the... I am different because I don't have any hair. But for those of you that have hair, um, your hair represents the presence of Vayu because if, if there is no Vayu, your hair are as it is in this hall. If you are outside, you'll be just flying all over. And so the, so the hair represents Vayu. Okay? Agni is directly represented by Agni. I think it's on the right hand, lower right hand is Agni. Left hand, left hand sorry, I'm seeing right from here. So left hand, Agni. Okay? Then um, Apaha. So the Apaha, I think, is, is the flowing of Ganga from his uh, f from from there. I, I'm not quite sure exactly how it is represented. I have to look at it again closely to see. Okay. Then the Prithvi, of course, is the very solidity of the body of of Ishwara of uh, of Dakshinamurti. So that represents. So all five Panchamahabhutas are there. 
Sixth and seventh are Surya and Chandrama. So Surya and Chandrama are on the forehead of Dakshinamurti. So why are they there? Okay. So there is a there is a couple of different ways to look at it, and both of them are valid. I've seen both descriptions. So one description is that they represent the eyes of of Ishvara. So you cannot see anything without the instrument of eyes, and so both represent the eyes. So this is one um, one one way to look at it. The second way is uh, which I kind of is more appeals to me is that Surya represents the self-illumination. Swatasiddhatvam swata swata chittatvam all, all, you know you already know and we'll do some meditation on this by the way I already have some ideas on what to do. So the Surya represents self-illumination. Chandrama represents reflected illumination. So how that is uh, given is that Surya represents the the, uh, Atma itself, which is self-illuminating. Again, we will do some meditation on this, but you will see the self-illumination of the Atma. Chandrama represents the mind because it reflects the Atma. The, the, the thinking power of the mind is not independent. It is dependent on the Atma. So the Chandrama represents the reflected and so really speaking all of the Maya Shakti is reflected consciousness whereas the Atma is independent consciousness. So both are represented by the Surya and Chandra on the forehead of uh, of, uh, Dakshinamurti. And then there are some other okay, okay, let me just finish all eight first before I go to that. So that leaves only one. Seven are accounted for. You know who the eighth one is? You. You, when you look at the Dakshinamurti, you cannot have the darshan of the Dakshinamurti unless you are there. And you means the really the Atma, the I. That is the eighth one. So just look at it. When you are there looking at Dakshinamurti, Dakshinamurti says, You are one of me. You are, uh, I have Surya and I have Chandrama and I have all these Panchamahabhutas and so on. And you are there as one part of it. And so that also is also there as the eighth one. Then there are some other things, like for example, a mala. A, uh, so the mala can represent the japa, the constancy of it. And we have really not talked about the mala in the uh, in the dhyanam. Uh, so perhaps tomorrow morning in the meditation, I will uh, briefly talk about the japa, and uh, uh, so that represents that. And then there is also a pasha. So on, I think, one of the right hands, I don't know, I can't see it from here. Yeah, so there is a pasha means that this is how we are, we really cannot do anything independently. It has to be, it, it is under what can be done by, by Ishwara. And so this is the pasha. Uh, then, of course, there is a book which means the revelation of uh, the truth of uh, Dakshinamurti. So those things are, and it's very possible that some of the things other than the eight basic things 
uh, define the version of the Dakshinamurti. I, again, I'm not, um, I haven't really looked into that. I remember Prof. Swamiji talking about it. I was very fortunate that as soon as this was consecrated, uh, not as soon as, when it was congregated, uh, consecrated, I was there. And so we, we were there in the very beginning. And then Swamiji spent a lot of time on talking about this. And uh, so that booklet I still have from 1990, from uh, May. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of the very precious uh, booklets that the ashram produced uh, for us. So uh, then, um, So then there are some other things that I am not positive about as to what they are, like the book, the, and so on and so forth. So those are perhaps representative of the Medha Dakshinamurti. I may have to consult my notes to, uh, to go to all of that, but that is uh, my understanding of what the people. Yeah. I had two questions. One was, um, I wanted to ask you in respect to Vidram. You used the like, oh, Vidram is the Uh, Guruji, I had a question regarding the the Swarup, uh, Murt Swarup if possible of Rudram because in the first Anuvaka itself, in the first one or two slokas, we went through those three three constructs, you know, both Bahus and Bo and, uh, you know, everything. And uh, one aspect is the Ghor and one aspect is the Ghor. I was looking at the internet trying to find a pictorial because then it gives you some idea and you know you can put that image in your mind couldn't find anything <laughs> no i don't think there is anything like that no that is all to be visualized yourself um, especially i can see the uh, this is really what this is this is the aghora rupa of rudram yeah. see this is the aghora rupam yeah. i don't know you want to do a ghora rupa for <laughs> <laughs> because that image will stay in your mind and that's not what you want to do. So I think by tradition you're not going to find uh, a Aghora Roop of it. Yeah. And so the Dakshinamurti is in fact the Vigraha for uh, Sri Rudram. That's what it is. But a Aghora Roop of it. Yeah. Probably Arjun was the only lucky or unlucky person to see the Aghora, the Aghora Roopa from Krishna, I guess, when he showed the Samastha the entire. Quite right, quite right. And there's other ways to depict, depict it. Now, for example, uh, the form of uh, Shakti in terms of Kali. In Bengal, they, the Kali Yuga, the Kali, and the Kali is, is, is a very major thing. And she has her tongue out, and she looks fierce, ready to devour you, and so on and so forth. And so there are attempts at doing the Agora Rupa, but you generally you don't want to really do it and they say, okay, fine, we won't do this. One uh, other thing that I forgot to mention is the foot of Dakshinamurti on this, uh, on this person who is lying down. Okay? So this is a very interesting and an important thing to see. Who is this person that he is, uh, is putting his foot down? So, is it the uh, ignorance? Let me finish. Let me finish. I'll, I'll, I'm, ex I'm explaining that. So this person, whose uh, technical name is Apasmara. Apasmara is the technical name for this person, representing exactly what it is. So, Smara means, may you recall my, uh, my real nature. So this is what exactly what happens even amongst people who have been studying and so on and so forth for a while, including myself. Um, you don't have, you don't have the memory of what this is all the time. This is exactly what we have to do uh, to become a Brahmanishta. So the definition of a Brahmanishta is that the vision of the self, this adhyatmika vidya, is never lost. 
whether you are talking to someone, you are lying down, you are studying something, whatever you are doing. In the Bhagavad Gita that talks about you know, whether you are sleeping, whether it goes through in a lot of all the ones. You have a clear idea of the Atma. You include the Atma as part of the vision. It doesn't come easily. And so many of the times I have to say, my goodness, I'm, I didn't even think about the Atma. Most of the time this is what's happening, but it's getting less and less. So I'm getting to, this is all part of the progress to become Jivan Mukti. So this is called Apasmara. You can even take it to represent complete ignorance. See, in my case, at least I know what it is all about, but I forget it. It's not part of my daily vision. Uh, when I look at people, I should look upon you as nothing but a, a, a form of Shiva. Uh, but I don't always do that. I just look upon you just as you are, and I should do that. And I hopefully I will be able to do that. And so this is what is called smara, smriti. But apasmriti means you forget to do it, because you're not um, uh, you're not used to doing it. Here Swami Hishanji has given a beautiful. Uh, he says it is just like learning a new language. You, you forget the, you're just learning some new words and so on and so forth, but it takes a while. It says, just don't be kind on yourself. It will come. And so this is the, this is one representation of Apasmara. The other representation of Apasmara is that you don't know anything at all. You don't know anything about the reality of what it is and so on. And um, so you have your own ego. The third one to look at, which is what Swamiji was talking about, is, and by the way, this is a very important thing with all the uh, all the acharyas talk about, is the the problem that our doubts create in our mind. The val the the significance of understanding the power of doubts is amazing. What does that mean? What it means is that you have, you don't let yourself completely go. You hold back with your own doubts. So you know, so something very similar. Swamiji, I understand what you are saying, but this but is the doubt. I understand this is, but then I don't feel doubt. Somehow, these doubts have to be to be removed. I remember uh, when we graduated from the uh, PRC ashram, and I, I think there must be some recordings because we already did a lot of audio recording. But it doesn't matter. This is way back in 1982. The graduation of the uh, of the so Famiji's last words were because they all addressed our own ideas. What now? What do we know? We have studied with you for so long and so on. What do we do next? So we anticipated that by saying, "The rest of your life is to remove your doubts." So the upper smara, I still remember Swamiji's words so clearly. It's funny, really. You don't uh, you don't remember some of the things that happened yesterday, but this happened since 1980, so 42 years back, and some of these words are as clear to me as they were spoken yesterday. And what he said was that you just have to spend your time removing doubts. Be clear about what has already been said. You already know it, but you're up. This is kind. Doubts are like, um, what's the, um, already I'm forgetting all the words, the, uh, the film on the front of the eyes that you remove, a uh, cataract, cataract. So the doubts are like cataract. What that means is that your eye is very healthy. 
There's nothing wrong with your health. But there's some kind of a film that has come on top of it which is removable. And once you remove it, the original health of the eye will shine brightly. So the doubts are like cataract. And so the rest of the thing you have to do in your life is... And so, to go back to uh, Apasmara, what Apasmara represents, I remember these words very carefully, very clearly, this is what I was talking about, the recall. He's saying, the representation of Dakshinamurti with a foot on the Apasmara represents that the Apasmara is not dead. You see? So if supposing the, this, is, this is an ongoing process, it is not complete yet. Complete means that the I will disappear and you will go Videha Mukti. That will come, you have to prepare for it. But what it means is, throughout your life, <coughs> While this guy who's lying on the, it's interesting, this guy who's lying on the ground, he has a mustache. And I don't know why that is. I have to really ask, Swamiji is not there anymore, but I have to ask. I think he represents an older person who has fully grown and has an ego and so on and so forth. That's exactly what we need to tackle. Uh, the ahankara, which we will talk about in more detail, uh, is the one that has to be kept down all the time. It's the process. So this is why the apasmara represents not a dead person, but one under control. You see, that is the beauty of this representation of the Dakshinamurti. So I thought I'd talk about that. So now I think we are done with the uh, Dakshinamurti. Yeah, Mukul? There's four Sanat Kumaras there too on the left lower side. On the left side, sir? On the, on the left lower side, there are, you know, there's four Sanat Kumaras. Sanat Kumaras, so, yeah, yes. Four of them are on the, between yes, the bottom and that's the right. waist, yeah. Yeah, so the Sanat Kumaras the four students, were the uh, rishis, original rishis, uh, where this, so this is how the Vidya all, all was emanated. So, uh, I'm very fortunate that um, when this was done, I think maybe a couple of years after that, one of the students here, uh, who's no longer there, he passed away some time ago, he went to Tamil Nadu and uh, got, I forget the number, I think maybe 108 of the Dakshinamurtis that you see that Dakshinamurti, Ganeshan ji, for example, the small one, you know, which is at the bottom. And so this is the Dakshinamurti that was redone. And he, there his, uh, I think his, his, his legs are like this. He's sitting like this. So this was carved out in, Daksh, in uh, Tamil Nadu. And then it was shipped to us. And we had to, we, we could uh, uh, ask for it give a donation and then they were individually blessed for each one of us. So I was very fortunate to be one of them and that is on my puja sthana in my home. My puja sthana, unlike what you have which is so elaborate, is very simple. Very simple. It just has this Dakshinamurti and it has photographs of both Swami Dayananji and Swami Maheshananji and uh, then I have a couple of other things, Ganesha and Hanuman and Saraswati and so on. Just a very simple one. But the main one is the Dakshamurti. Oh yeah, this is what I have some remember. So in that, um, this is the point that Mukul brought up. In that Dakshinamurti, the four uh, Sanat Kumara, San Kumaras are there on four of them. So I give my, when I do a puja in the morning, I touch their feet, all four of them. Uh, to bless me and so on. This blessing, um, I'm sorry, I'm talking more, not taking your questions. You should really do this. But this blessing of the other people, 
लाइक स्वामी दयानंद जी एंड स्वामी महेशानंद जी एंड स्वामी चिन्मयनंद जी एंड सो ऑन आई शुड ऑल्सो एट स्वामी चिन्मयनंद पिक्चर आई डोंट हैव इट बट आई विल लाइक डू दैट बिकॉज ही इज द वन हु इंट्रोड्यूस मी टू दिस होम is 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 necessary or at least useful if you want to call it necessary even while they are gone because they are influ- just like your shraddha towards your parents your parents are there in some form of the other they are there and uh, so they can still give you a blessing if you submit yourselves to them if you remember them this is why we remember their birthdays uh my father's birthday was recently and there was a <clears throat> slew of uh, emails from our children their children our sister and mom. so this is good because through their memory and through the submission their blessings do come to us there's no question about that similarly for uh, the kumaras the sanat kumaras and uh, i also do i have in top of my uh, vigraha the dakshinamurti i have a picture of adi shankara with his four disciples and so i i call out to each one of them and uh, padma pada acharya totaka acharya hastamala acharya and sureshwar acharya because their their teachings and their uh, their thoughts are one that are shaping my understanding i thank them and please continue to bless me so i complete this journey i don't leave it and so uh, that's also part of this so the shraddha ceremony is important because you are giving your thanks to them Here, Swami Mahesan Ji has, has 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 commented on this part uh, quite extensively. He says that the Shraddha ceremony, the Shraddha process, is not just for them; it is for you. You're not doing them a favor because now they are into a, and of course it is in a way. You are by by memory. You are saying, "I hope you are okay wherever you are." so there is some blessing that you are also giving them but what it is i think is uh, and he makes it very clear in his descriptions what it is is that you recognize their contribution for you because how else is ishwara going to launch you except through your mother and father and so their genes and their attitudes and so on and so forth i mean in my case for example i just for my because of my father uh whose anniversary was just recently in the very first day when i did the he did the puja for me i mean some of my good qualities are really reflected of his good qualities he was a very simple person straightforward committed to telling the truth he would be uncomfortable if uh, something would happen and if i have those qualities are all due to him he was the one who gave that i need to thank him for that and by thanking him i reinforce those good qualities in my life and if he had some bad qualities that also are helpful to me because i know that i can improve on it all of his uh, bad qualities if i can call it which i am really improving on it i have talked to my my uh, students about that already he was very upset about the loss of his memory he used to continuously complain oh my god i can't remember people's names oh it is so oh good this is go oh god this is uh, so finally he just said oh god just take me away i'm used so i we all used to say my mother also you say why do you complain so much about that so he was just continuously complaining because he used to remember all the things before now he can't do it i am also losing my memory very much so i think my wife will attest to it that my memory is really failing but you know something i'm not complaining about it not compl- in fact 
Uh, I talked about this in one of the classes and uh, one of the students, Ganeshan Krishnamurti, who works for uh, Tesla and uh, he, uh, he's a student. In fact, his, uh, his daughter is having, anyway, so that's, I won't go into that. So when we talked about this, he says, you know, what you discussed there was very useful to me. And what I said was, why should I worry about my memory? Because the memory is not me. This is like, you know, I'm, uh, our, our skins are all getting old. So of course they're going to get old. Your memory, of course, is going to fall, to, to, to be bad. So what's, so what's the kin thing about complaining? It's very natural that it's going to do it. What you should remember is the one which does not change, who remains young, as we saw in the last class. So anytime I have a loss of memory, I turn my attention on something which cannot lose. And so I'm helped by, my, my father was not a Vedanta and he never really studied Vedanta. But I'm fortunate to study Vedanta. And so even the bad qualities of someone, I am aware of. And uh, they also by reversing it are helpful to me. So, uh, so the memory of, uh, of your, your past people and so on and so forth is a very important part of uh, your, your Shraddha. So this is what Mahishananji was saying, that your Shraddha is good for you, primarily good for you, not for the people who are gone. Beautiful point, very un understanding. Yeah. My question is, um, when we say Panchakshara Mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, is that similar to saying Shivaya Namaha or? Yeah, it is. It is very similar. Shivaya Namaha, Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya is a more prevalent, um, more, uh, uh, more often repeated and so on. And... Um, for example, in the uh, uh, Maha Shivaratri, you know, we have had uh, the tradition of uh, of chanting Om Namah Shivaya uninterrupted for eight to nine hours, and uh, so we used to do that. Um, so they will be uh, so it will be all starting with. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, not Shivaya Namaha, but the meaning remains the same. Yeah. So when, when we chant Om Namah Shivaya, say do, doing a japa, can you tell, tell me or tell everyone how the process, procedure of doing a japa to wait between two Om Namah Shivayas or just continuously chant? So let me understand your question. Say that one more time. Just the process of doing a japa, procedure of doing a japa. Okay, so a couple of things. The japa I have not even talked about, and this is what I'm going to do tomorrow morning in oh. the uh, dhyanam. So the process of doing that I will tackle. That is the last thing. I ran out of time today, but I wanted to introduce nidhi dhyasanam. So I made a promise to myself, and I, I looked at my watch. There were four minutes left. So I could not do the japa. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. So this is one thing. Then um, there is a meaning of Om Namah Shivaya. So this is given very, very well in a book called Panchakshari Vidya. And Panchakshari Vidya was written by one of the four disciples of Adi Shankara called Padmapadacharya. So he has composed, uh, I think, 19 verses on Namah Shivaya. So recently, on our Tuesday night class, was it? I think it was a Tuesday night class, wasn't it? We did, we did Panchakshari Vidya. No, no, I think Saturday morning. Brahma Sutra, yeah, the Saturday morning class. So after we finished Brahma Sutra, then we had, uh, I think, uh, five or six weeks left before we came here. So I tackled the, this, the very beautiful text. And so those recordings are available. And uh, 
I, Nilima, I think I would recommend that if you have the time, you just go to the AVC channel and uh, just look up Panchakshari Vidya, and I think there are five or six of those, and uh, you can just look at that. There's the book is also available, I think, or even on the internet, you can you can get that. So that explains the meaning of Namah Shivaya. So the Panchakshari does not include Om. Om is added to it. The five syllables is Namaha, Nama, Shivaya. So five syllables. So that the meaning of that is available someplace else, but the very process of doing the japa I will tackle tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to add something to the Dakshina Murti. May I? Sure. Okay. But from what I recall, Puja Swamiji, you know, he goes there and ex- shows us all the. You may want to remove your uh, mask. Your mask so that okay. everybody can hear you clearly. Oh, okay. Um, so he said it will like Ardhanara Nareshwari, so half is oh, man, yes. half is woman, yes. and one side there's longer hair as a woman, yes. and one side. Yes. so that was beautifully seen without all the jewelry. Yeah. I thought I'd add that. No, no, that's a very good point. So what she's talking about is, you know, there's always a question whether uh, Ishwara is male or female, and uh, that's the way our, our looking at it. We think he thinks in terms of as a person who is to be there. And of course there is the issue of, the, this is the question of Purusha and Prakriti. And so there is that one. But here in the Dakshinamurti or Shiva, this has both female and, and male in it. So there, what he was, she was talking about is that it has... Uh, uh, Ardha Ishwara, one half of that is female and the other one is male. And so the hairstyles are different and the jewelry that is being worn also represents the maleness and the femaleness. That's also part of the Dakshamurti. Thank you so much. You know what we will do is wind up today at this point. Sorry you didn't have a lot of questions. I was the one who ended up talking. But uh, we will uh, we will now pause and give uh, Sahadev a little bit more time to give us his melodious music. So with that, O Masatoma Satkamaya, Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya, Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya, O Purnamadaf Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate. Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Bhyo Bhirgru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om
So, we're on page one, the Ganesha. Jai Shri Ganesha. Hari Om. Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai Jai Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha, Jai Shri Ganesha, Nesha, Jai Shri Ganesha, Jai Shri Ganesha, Bhagavan. Jai Shri Ganesha, Bhagavan. Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Jai 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 Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha 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 Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan Jai Shri Ganesha Bhagavan
Page five. Page five. Shiva. Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Om Nama Shivaya Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Om Nama Shivaya Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Om Nama Shivaya Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Shiva Nama Om Nama Shivaya Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Nama Shiva Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Om Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namma Shiva Shivaya Namma Shiva Shivaya Namma Om Namma Shivaya Shivaya Namma Shiva Shivaya Namma Shiva Shivaya Namma Shiva Shivaya Namma Shiva Shivaya Namma Om Namma Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shiva 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 Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Shiva Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Shiva 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 Shivaya Namah Om Namah Shivaya 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 Namah Om Namah Shivaya Shivaya Namah Om Namah
Ram came into my mind. <laughs> So we're on page nine. <coughs> Ram, Ram, Ram. Shri Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Dasharatha Nandana Ram 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 Dasharatha Nandana Ram 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 Kashaya Ke Ram 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 Kashaya Kashaya Ke Ram 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 Shri Rama Sita Ram 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 Shri Rama Sita Ram 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 Shri Rama Raghupara Ram 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 Shri Rama Raghupara Ram Shri Shri Pati Rama Kela 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 Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Dasharatha Nandana Ram 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 Dasharatha Nandana Ram 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 Kashaya ke Ram 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 Kashaya ke Ram Kashaya ke Ram 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 Shri Ram Sita Ram 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 Shri Rama Sita Ram 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 Shri Rama Raghupara Ram 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 Dasharatha Nandana Ram 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 Kashaya ke Ram 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 Kashaya ke Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Shri Ram 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 Shri Ram Chandra Bhagavan Ki
Is this page 13? Jagadamba Amba Amba Chai Jagadamba Amba Amba Chai Jagadamba Amba Amba Chai Jagadamba Chai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Shakti Wait Mata Mata Jai Jagan Mata 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 Jai Parameshwari Jai Vishwa Mata Jai Parameshwari Jai Vishwa Jai Parameshwari Jai Vishwamata Jai Parameshwari Amba Amba Jai Jaganamba Amba Amba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Shakti Shakti Jai Shiva Shakti 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 Jai Shiva Shakti 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 Jai Shiva Shakti Jai Kameshwari Jai Mahashakti Jai Kameshwari Jai Mahashakti Jai Kameshwari Jai Mahashakti Amba Amba Jai Jagan Amba 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 Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Devi Devi Jai Mahadevi Devi Devi Jai Mahadevi Devi Devi Jai Mahadevi Devi Devi Jai Chamundeshwari Jai Gauri Devi Jai Chamundeshwari Jai Gauri Devi Jai Chamundeshwari Jai Gauri Devi Amba Amba Jai Jagan Amba 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 Jai Jagan Amba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba 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 Mata Mata Jai Jagan Mata 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 Jai Jagan Mata 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 Jai Jagan Mata Jai Parameshwari Jai Vishwa Mata Jai Parameshwari Jai Parameshwari Jai Vishwa Mata Parameshwari Jai Vishwa Mata Amba Amba Jai Jagan Amba 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 
Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Shakti Shakti Jai Shiva Shakti 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 Jai Shiva Shakti 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 Jai Shiva Shakti 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 Jai Kameshwari Jai Mahashakti Jai Kameshwari Jai Kameshwari Jai Mahashakti Amba Amba Jai Jagan Amba 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 Jai 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 Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Devi Devi Jai Mahadevi Devi Devi Jai Mahadevi Devi Devi Jai Mahadevi Devi Devi Jai Chamundeshwari Jai Gauri Devi Jai Chamundeshwari Jai Chamundeshwari Jai Gauri Devi Jai Chamundeshwari Amba Amba Jai Jagadamba Amba Amba Jai Jagadamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba Jai Bhuvaneshwari Jai Jai Mukamba can take the oh we have to hear now we know i may be doing it again vande उमापतिम सुरगुरुम वंदे जगत्कारणम वंदे पन्नगभूषणम रुगधरम वंदे पशुनाम पतिम वंदे सूर्य शशांकवह निनायनम वंदे मुकुंद प्रियम वंदे भक्त जनाश्रयम चवरदम वंदे शिवम शंकरम वंदे शिवम शंकरम वंदे शिवम शंकरम हर हर नव पार्वती पतये हर हर महादेव शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंभो महादेव शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंभो महादेव हर 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 शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शंकर 
शिव 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 शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंभो महादेव शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंभो महादेव हर 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 शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शंकर डम 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 रु बजे शंकर घन घन घंटा बजे डम डम ओ डम 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 ओ डम 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 रु बजे शंकर घन घन घंटा बजे डम 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 रु बजे शंकर घन घन घंटा बजे अरे भोलेनाथ शंभो जय विश्वनाथ शंभो जय भोलेनाथ शंभो जय विश्वनाथ शंभो शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो हर 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 शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो 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 शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंभो महादेव शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंभो महादेव हर 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 शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शंकर शिव शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर 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 जय जय शंकर हर हर शं जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर सांब सदा शिव शंभो 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 शंकर गंगाधर हर शंभो शंकर गंगाधर हर शंभो शंकर जटा जूट हर शंभो शंकर जटा जूट हर शंभो शंकर भो शंकर जटा जूट हर शंभो शंकर चंद्रचूड हर शंभो शंकर चंद्रचूड हर शंभो शंकर चंद्रचूड हर शंभो शंकर चंद्रचूड हर शंभो शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर जय जय शंकर हर शंकर त्रिनेत्रधारी शंभो शंकर त्रिपुंडधारी शंभो शंकर त्रिनेत्रधारी शंभो शंकर त्रिनेत्रधारी शंभो शंकर भस्म विभूषित शंभो शंकर भस्म विभूषित शंभो शंकर भस्म विभूषित शंभो शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर भस्म विभू शंभो शंकर जय जय शंकर हर शंकर नागभूषण शंभो शंकर नागभूषण शंभो शंकर नागभूषण शंभो शंकर नागभूषण शंभो शंकर त्रिपुंडधारी शंभो शंकर त्रिपुंडधारी शंभो शंकर त्रिपुंडधारी शंभो शंकर त्रिपुंडधारी शंभो शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर 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 शंकर त्रिशूल हस्ता शंभो शंकर त्रिशूल हस्ता शंभो शंकर स्ता शंभो शंकर त्रिशूल हस्ता शंभो शंकर पिनाक पाणी शंभो शंकर पिनाक पाणी शंभो शंकर पिनाक पाणी शंभो शंकर पिनाक पाणी शंभो शंकर सांब सदा शिव 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 शंभो शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय 
हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शर डमरोधर हर शंभो शंकर डमरोधर हर शंभो शंकर डमरोधर हर शंभो शंकर डमरोधर हर शंभो शंभो व्याघ्र चर्म धर शंभो शंकर 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 जय जय शंकर हर हर 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 शंकर सांब सदा शिव शंभो शंकर सांब सदा शिव शंभो शंकर सांब सदा शिव शंभो शंक सांब सदा शिव शंभो शंकर हर हर न पार्वती पतए हर हर महादेव